and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of the colors of the EMS ISDN Air Force JROCC, followed by the National Anthem performed by the Oswald Chamber of Singers. Thank you to our EMS Air, uh, ISD Air Force JROTC and the Boswell Chamber Singers from Boswell Trail High School for opening our event this evening. Beautiful job. My name is Dr. Marilyn Tolbert, and it is my privilege to serve as president of the 2024-2025 EMS ISD Board of Directors. This evening, it is my distinct honor to be here on behalf of our board members and district leadership team to welcome to you, you to this very special occasion. This is the fourth year for the EMS ISD Ceremony of Remembrance, and what a, what a fitting time each year to host this event around the celebration of Veterans Day. This ceremony is a time for us to come together as a district, to pause for a time of remembrance, and to patri patri <laughs> sorry, pay tribute to those individuals from across EMS ISD who are forever remembered on our Memorial Plaza. This year is also special because it is the 20th anniversary of the dedication of the Memorial Plaza. The plaza was dedicated on Veterans Day, November 11th, 2004, and it stands to honor U.S. Marine Corporal Marty Medellin, a Boswell High School graduate, and all the EMS ISD military personnel who have given the ultimate sacrifice and service to our country, whether in military service or in emergency fire or police duty. This memorial also honors students and staff, staff members from across the district who have passed while attending or employed in the district, as well as EMS ISD Board of Education members who have passed during their elected service. Sadly, we have added three names to the wall since last year's ceremony. And as of today, there are 128 names of individuals etched into the walls of the plaza. As we prepare to honor those individuals remembered on the Memorial Plaza, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few individuals here with us tonight. First, please welcome members of our Board of Trustees, Paige Ring, our Board Vice President, sitting right here in the front, Mr. Ron, Mr. Blake Mabry, sitting right here in the front, and our other board members who were unable to attend this evening, Mr. Stephen Newcomb, Tim Daughtry, William Bowes, and Ron Franklin. We also could not have an event such as this without the work of our district leadership 
and I want to thank all of you that are in attendance with us this evening. Are there any elected officials from our cities, county, or state representatives here with us this evening? I don't believe I saw any, but I'm just making sure. Okay. At this time, would anyone who has served or is serving in the military or as first responders please stand so we may honor you? Thank you so much for your service uh, in the past or now. We appreciate you so much. You are what keeps our country free. Um, at the reason we are here tonight, if you're a family member of an individual whose name is memorialized on the EMIS ISD Memorial Plaza wall outside, please stand so we may honor you. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Now please welcome our superintendent, Dr. Jim Chadwell, who will share additional information about our plaza's namesake, Corporal Medellin, and his own commemorative remarks. Thank you, Dr. Tolbert. As always, I'm honored to be here this evening. Um, this is something that is very special that we do in our school district, and I'm very glad that we do. In the business of life, sometimes we move so quickly that we can forget the most important things. And those are the people that have gone before us. Those are the people that we know and that we love and that we care for and that we never should forget. And I'm humbled to have this opportunity to have this memorial um, here in our community to acknowledge those individuals that sadly have lost their lives while either in service or as they've been a student or also in service as an employee. Since he was 10 years old, Marty Medellin dreamed of becoming a Marine. He served during Operation Iraqi Freedom as a 21-year-old crew chief in Company A, 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion, 1st Marine Division. He was deployed to Central Iraq on April the 7, 2003, and he and a crewmate were killed in Baghdad by an enemy round that struck their amphibious assault vehicle. He was the first soldier from Tarrant County to be killed in the line of duty in the Iraq mission. Marty graduated from Boswell in 2000. Just think for a moment how many thousands and thousands of kids have gone through our schools and specifically here. He was known as a good student who was interested in computers and business classes. He was a friendly, mild-mannered young man who was also active in his church. And according to fellow platoon members, Marty could always be counted on and always made the best out of any bad situation. His military honors include the Navy and Marine Corps, Achievement Medal with add-on awards such as two gold stars, a Combat Distinguished Service Award, and a Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal. The USMC Marty Medellin Memorial Plaza at Boswell High School was designed in his honor to memorialize his service and his contribution to the community and the nation. During the design, it was important to our board and leadership that each element be as meaningful as the, um, as the people who will be memorialized on it. Flanked by two stone walls, as you go out there, you'll see this design is all very, very intentional. Flanked by two stone walls, the plaza took its shape from the globe and the U.S. Marine Corps emblem, which symbolizes Cor Corporal Medellin's worldwide impact as a Marine. The circle design signifies a continuous memory of his life and courage and our com community's everlasting re um, respect for his sacrifice. Within the circle are three paths. One path serves as the formal approach to the plaza and is where most individuals who come to pay their respects can enter. The remaining two paths are key elements that drove the design of the entire memorial. One path points to the National Marine Headquarters in Quantico, Virginia and represents Corporal Medellin's heart of service, while the other path signifies his courage and his journey to Iraq. These paths were prominent milestones in his life. At the intersection of these two paths stands a 14-foot obelisk that serves as a testament to the corporal's unwavering devotion to his family and his country. Scribed with the words Semper Fidelis, its location at the heart of the memorial stands as a tribute to his courageous fight for his freedom, for our freedom. Its height above all other elements in the plaza allows for individuals to look to the sky as they pay their respects to those memorialized there. The Memorial Plaza is located in a courtyard here in front of Boswell High School facing Bailey Boswell, funded in part by donations from local businesses and community members, and it was dedicated on Veterans Day, November the 11th, 2004. 
Wreaths are placed on the annual, um, annually on Memorial Day each fall. The names of any students, staff, trustees, and military alumni who have passed during the previous year are added to its walls for permanent remembrance. Recently, the plaza has received some upgrades, specifically with the change to metal panels where the names of those remembered can be easily read and the etching maintained properly over time, as well as additional permanent lighting to illuminate the plaza for those paying respects. And as you notice, as you drive by, it's illuminated every evening to recognize, to recognize those that are on the wall. As you can tell, this plaza means a great deal to our district and our community, and our crews take great pride in maintaining this for the families of our fallen, and it stands today as a symbol of the honor and service reflected by those in the EMSISD community. I want you to think for just a moment this evening as you go out there that you left whatever business you left at home or at work or in your own private life. So take a moment to hear each name read, each name that has been a part of this community and those that have been have sacrificed their lives on for our sakes. And I think it's something that I'm very proud of and I'm very thankful that I live in a community that stops and pauses to recognize those, those individuals rather than going so busy to the next thing in our lives. At this time, I would like to invite Deputy Superintendent Dr. Dana Barnes to share a special time of remembrance of those individuals in the EMSISD community we have lost in this last year. Thank you, Dr. Chadwell. At this time, it is my personal honor to share a little about the three individuals our EMS ISD community has lost since the last engraving of names in 2023. While the circumstances of each of these individuals vary, they share the common thread of being valued members of the Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD community. As I read each name, and information, I invite any family members of the individual to stand for their loved one. Kathy Kamkui Zuetza. This biography was written by her father. Born on March 8, 2006, we knew that your life would be special. Like we always said, good things do not last very long. We didn't know that your life would be so short. You started to walk so early at 10 months, at 12 months you were able to talk, and at two years old you went to school. When we arrived in the United States in August of 2015 and settled in Irving, the school district gave you a test to know your level of school. After a few weeks in the fifth grade, they realized their oversight about your young age and brought you back to fourth grade. This just proves how intelligent you were. We moved to our new house in Saginaw in 2018, and you attended seventh and eighth grades at Prairie Vista Middle School in Eagle Mountain, Saginaw ISD. At school, you were a serious, hard worker and smart student. Your teachers always loved and appreciated you. And at home, you were a great support for us as your parents and a very special big sister for your siblings, taking care and defending them. Becoming a pediatrician was always your dream. To take care of kids, you were a caring person with a big heart and a big smile. From 2020 to 2023, you went to Saginaw High School and were part of many school sports teams, including volleyball, basketball, wrestling, powerlifting, and clubs which brought you to have so many friends. In 2018, you also joined the troop 2716 of the Girl Scouts of Texas. We always wondered how you would manage all of these activities. You always gave your best facing any situation with optimism. Even in November 2022, when we learned that you had terrible brain cancer, you never stopped smiling. And when the doctor started your treatment that November, you were always happy to go back to school after each treatment session. And on March 2023, your chemotherapy treatment was so trying and the school provided you home classes. You were so happy to see Coach James every week and then you were so happy to attend your aunt's wedding in Paris in summer of 2023. After fighting this painful disease for almost one year, you left us on October 25th, 2023 in immense and inconsolable sadness. Kathy's achievements include 
active member in school organizations such as the Middle School Science Club, Student Council, National Honor Society. Competed with two district champion track and field teams and set school records in powerlifting. Performed as a member of the Saginaw High School Star Steppers and was in the top 10% of her class. Outside of school, she was also a member of Girl Scout Troop 2716 and earned their silver award and was a member of Nambudo USD. She also held a job as an employee of the district working as a student custodian at Saginaw High School after she was done with her classes. In her short time with us, Kathy made a big impact on all of those who were privileged to know her. She is remembered for her smile, her laughter, and her love. Her kindness and her strength continues every day to inspire others. Thank you to her family for sharing more about her life and her impact and for allowing us to join them in honoring her memory. Kathy Kamkui Zuetsa. Andrew Skinner. This biography was written by his classroom teachers. Andrew, or as we like to call him, Baby Drew, was a bright, compassionate, and uniquely talented individual whose presence touched the hearts of everyone who knew him. As one of our Parkview students, he reminded us to enjoy the world around us, seeing beauty and details that others often overlooked. His gentle spirit, creativity, and joy were an inspiration to his classmates, teachers, and friends alike. Drew had a remarkable ability to approach life with a sense of curiosity and wonder, always eager to explore new ideas and engage with the world in his own beautiful way. He exuded happiness regardless of what was going on around him. His journey was a reminder that diversity is a gift and his legacy will continue to inspire kindness, understanding, and acceptance. Through his time with us was far too short. Drew's memory will forever be cherished. He leaves behind a lasting impact on the hearts of all who had the privilege of knowing him, reminding us to embrace every individual's unique light. May he rest in peace. Thank you to Drew's teachers for sharing more about his sweet spirit and to his family for allowing us to join them in honoring his memory. Andrew Skinner. Dr. Misty Mitchell Tremaine. This biography was written by her family members. Dr. Misty Mitchell Tremaine, 58, passed away peacefully on April 1st, 2024, after a very short battle with cancer. Misty was the second of three daughters born to Bill and Jill Mitchell. And my sister Sandy is here with me. Misty grew to be a strong person of faith, crediting her mother Jill as her role model. Misty began teaching her career um, at Everman ISD, teaching second grade. And she would later teach first grade at Birdville ISD and Friendswood ISD. She would then take a 12-year hiatus from teaching to take care of her three young sons, Jeffrey, Tyler, and Ben. She never regretted that. Misty would return to teaching kindergarten at Bryson Elementary and began her career at Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD in 2006. Misty was a talented and passionate educator, and after teaching kindergarten, she found her love of mathematics and became a math interventionist at Comanche Springs and Remington Point Elementary. EMS ISD took notice of her skill set of working with teachers and assisting them with instructional strategies. So she was hired as an instructional math coach at Gilliland, Gilliland Elementary, then became the district elementary math coordinator. For 18 years, Misty brought her passion for student learning to work at EMSISD every single day. Her focus and mission were for every student to believe in themselves in math and for every teacher to know that each student has the ability to be successful. Misty was also an active member of the Texas Association of Supervisors of Mathematics, where she served on the board as a parliamentarian. Shortly before her passing, she completed her lifelong goal of earning a Doctor of Education from Texas A&M and made her father Bill so extremely proud. 
Besides being an accomplished educator, Missy loved her family, friends, and co-workers and invested in these relationships. Missy met her husband, Jack, while attending Stephen F. Austin University, and together they raised their three sons, of whom they are very proud and are all graduates of Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD. She imbued academic excellence in her sons and actively supported their extracurricular activities, even your drums, Tyler. She embraced being a sports mom and being a band mom too, and she was very active in her church. She also loved to travel, attend Broadway musicals, reading, and being a mom. Most of all, she enjoyed family gatherings with her husband, Jack, her sons, Jeffrey, Tyler, and Ben, her parents, Jill and Bill Mitchell, her sisters, Sandy Mitchell, and myself, Dana Mitchell Barnes, her cousins, and her nieces. Misty's was a full life well lived, and she is missed by many who had the privilege of knowing and loving her and also working for her. Thank you to Misty's family for allowing us to join them in honoring her memory. And she will never be forgotten. Dr. Misty Mitchell Germain. Please pause with me for a moment of silence to honor all of these individuals. Thank you. At this time, please welcome Director of Communications, Matthew LeBlanc, for the reading of the names of individuals previously memorialized on the Medellin Plaza. Joseph Killian Ackerman. Rachel Algeria. Elijah Matthew Anderson. Ben Aranda Jr. Michael Bailey. Joseph Nathaniel Barnett. Edith Lane Batchelter, Judith Bach, Fontulat Noy Butuvon, James Bridgeford II, Trinity Bright, Eden Brooks. Brandon Burkett, Donna Sue Cole, Parker Cole, Julio Costa, Melissa Cranson, Private First Class Peter K. Cross. United States Army. Orion Cruz. Joe Darter. Savannah DeGear. Madison Dymock. Tonisha Dixon, Keithon Ellis, Lance Jamison Fowler, Alana Gallagher, Virgil Gilly. 
Tammy Golden, Jeremy Song Gomez, Eugene Jean Gonzalez, Betsy Grady, Terry Griggers the third, Ryan Hotham, Hawthorne, excuse me, Brock Healer, Angel Hernandez, Martin Hernandez, Isabel Herrera, Mark Wayne Hodges, Lori Ellen Holt, Christine Hoyt, Tammy Hubbard, Vincent Ireland, Jacqueline Jackson, George B. Jackson III, Terry Ann Janvern, Cameron Jeanson, Opal Joe Jennings, Debbie Eisenberg, Brian Joplin, Clifford Keithley, Zachary Keller, Bernadette Kemp, Katie Kirkland, David Knott, Fred Kraus, Teresa Ann Larimore, Nicholas Larson, Dennis Lewis, Elijah Lopez, Isaiah Lopez, Noemi Magdaleno, Clarence Manley, Isaiah Martinez, Caleb Massingale, Gary McKinney, Corporal Marty Medellin, United States Marine Corps, Jordan Miles, Gerald Money, Cody Morales, Carolyn Murray, Robin Myers, Angela Nash, Sydney Nelson, Jamari Nelson, Trey Lynn Newton, Margaret Oliveira, Alexandra Lexi Osorio, Kaylee Osorio, Raymond Paffert, Jarius Parker, 
Tristan Parkhurst. Giovanna Patterson. Alexander J. A.J. Peterson. Bunuvan Fonavat. Norma Powell. William Milo Prince. Monica Canini, Lee Spurgeon Spurge Reeves, Andrea Rhodes, Tammy Ritchie, Amiri Robles. Alyssa Rodriguez, Beatrice Rubalcalva, Paul Allen Rushing, Captain Blake Harrison Russell, United States Army, Rebecca Russell, Donna Ryan, Ronnie Sadler, Mark Salas, Emmanuel de Santiago, Francisco Javier Santoyo, George Sasser, Justin Plano Sauer, Rayshard J. Scott, Maria Rosa. Cifuentes, Christopher David Simmons, Nancy Smith, Randy Lee Spence, Linda Stanfill, Anavie. Staples, Benjamin Steerwalt, Stephen Stokes, Deborah Story, Connor Stoder, Kelly Toden. Jimmy Carl Troppenstam, Max Vanderswar, Sikmuk Vong Fok D, Pamela Willard, Brian Williams, Cheryl. Williams, Crystal Benel Wilson, Ona Wenders. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise again and remove your hats for a solo performance of TAPS 
to honor the EMS ISD graduates who are memorialized for their service to our military or as first responders. Then the Boswell Chamber Singers will honor all those we remember today with a tribute song, Do Not Stand at My Grave and Weep.
I want to thank the Boswell High School junior uh, Noah Tejada for that moving tribute to TAPS and to the Boswell High School chamber singers for the reverent performance. As we close, I would like to invite all of our guests to join us for a short walk outside to the Marty Medellin Memorial Plaza to pay personal and individual respects. So please, if the weather is nice this evening, we can take a few moments just to again take in every name, um, again take the moments of the symbolism of, the, uh, of the, um, the plaza itself and to spend some time in remembrance of those who have gone before us. We also want to just again reach out to those families that are here tonight representing those individuals. Some of you had names called, your loved ones passed away before this year. For our students that have, um, our staff members that would have passed in the last few months because it does take time to put the names on the plaza, their names would be read next year. It does take time to put those things on there and want them best represented. Again, I want to thank you for being here to represent these uh, young men and women, older young men and women that are on this plaza and, um, and just to be together tonight as a community. We want to thank you for tonight's, um, your attendance to tonight's event. And again, we will see you at the plaza and please travel safely home. Thank you.